The walking action can sometimes cause some challenges and I do have a couple other walking tutorials I'll link to in the description. But with the 3D characters that we can rotate, some people have been asking, and I just saw a question today, so I thought I would make this, on how to hey, make creators. them. 3D Three characters are cool, but sometimes might cause challenges. Using character rotation and that fancy reset button, walking forward and then talking can be easy. So I have an example of how we can use the reset button for the action. And then I have another one. But sometimes the reset button won't really work, like for the listening action. Then we want to use character rotation instead. So let me show you how I did that. And I actually have another character for Lenka that is, does not have the animations on it. But let me first, I don't want to be hearing the voices. So I'm going to get rid of the volume. We don't need to hear those every time we play. So instead of just starting with this link I already had, if you want to do along with me, get a background, bring Lenka on, then pause this and you can do this along with me. And I'm just going to set her up with the same actions. I'm going to have idle, then I will have walking, then I will have talking, and happy. And really, I only put happy on there so that um, we could see that it could go back to the right, the right um, orientation, that she would still be front. I only wanted idle there for a short time just as the video was starting, so I'm just going to shorten that a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to click on the label and I am going to disable the start and the end of the walking. So let's see what happens. And here we can see that the, the other character is turning to walk. That's not what we want if we want her to walk forward. So what we need to do is we need to rotate the character. As I'm doing this, I just want to get rid of the captions to delete them. Because we don't need those and the those are going to get in the way too. All right. So now those won't be there. So how are we going to turn that character? I had to do some timings and we can look at that after, but what I'm gonna do right now is where I had my first keyframe, I'm going to click on the new Lenka. I am going to go to add animation, character view, and I think I used a linear. I did. Then I'm going to bring my keyframe closer. And the reason was I was timing it to her body movements. So let's go in and see what that looks like. So here at the start, and then she's naturally going to turn, but we don't want her to turn. So I'm going to click on my last keyframe, go to rotate, and I'm just going to turn her. So she's facing front. Click off rotate and let's see what happens. And I think that looks okay. If we had started too late, I'm gonna move the keyframe a little bit. She would have already started to turn and then she would have to turn to walk forward. So it's all in finding the right moment to put that first keyframe. So now our first one is moving forward and our second one isn't. So I'm going back to my keyframe, my end keyframe. I'm going to click on that, add another animation, and this time I'm going to use position and scale. 
Then I'm going to drag my keyframe out. I'm going to put it here right now, even though we see it needs to be there. Let me put it here for a minute. And then what I'm going to do with my character is I am going to move her forward and blow her up. <laughs> so she's larger as she's getting closer to the screen. So I'm going to bring her up and probably too much, but it might not be exactly the same. Let's see how that looks. Now, if you see that, watch her legs. She continues to keep moving in the walking animation, even though she's no longer moving forward. I ended my keyframe too soon. So I need to find when she ends the walking, for the moving of her legs, which I had already determined was there. And now my Lanka doesn't turn but this one does so what we want to do is we want to go to our last keyframe add an animation another character view this is where i'm going to end it but we can look at why but now what we can do is we don't have to go back and rotate her we can just click reset view now she doesn't turn and she just stays in the orientation that we wanted. Now, if I had ended this a little later, she would start to turn before she would do the talking. So what we need to do is find the end of the turn and bring it back. And that way she doesn't make any motion to turn to her left. And then she just keeps talking. And then when it goes into happy, we don't have to do anything because she's already facing forward because we reset the view. So that's one way to do it. The other way, we can't always use the reset. So here I wanted to do the listening motion but the listening motion makes her go and turn to but sometimes the reset button won't really work like for the listening action then we want to use character rotation and so let me get rid of that and get rid of the captions whoops so we don't have that so how are we going to do that so let me just duplicate this one and i'm going to keep the beginning animation because we just showed you how to do that and I am going to oh she's still behind her so let me just move her over when I duplicated her she was in the same position and let me delete the animation so here we already did this rotation from the idle to the walking. Then we walked her forward. Now she's going to turn to do the listening, which if we have her talking to somebody is fine, but this isn't really what we want for this. And she's turning even more because we already turned her way back here. So what did I do? Let's look at my keyframes. I used linear and I used character view. So I'm going to click on that keyframe, add an animation for character view and linear, go to my last one. Now let's see what happens if I click reset view. She's still turned, right? That's, if you want to use that, that's certainly something that you can do. But if you want her to stay facing front, then reset's not going to work. So I'm going to undo that. And now she's here. So what we're going to do is go to the end keyframe. 
and I did that so fast that I twisted her around a little bit, but I really stink at that. She stuttered there. Oh, you know why she stuttered there? Here's why that happened. Um, well, it shouldn't have. Hold on a second. I have the disable start, and it should be there too because I duplicated it. So, let's see. All right, that was better. I did have it off a little bit, but this is another thing that if you don't put your keyframes where the actions are coming, you're going to see some weird things like that. That was a little bit more, but when I had it just a little bit off, we saw a little bit of a stutter on her face. See, we don't want that. So you're always going to, even if you don't have mine to guide, you're just going to keep moving it until you make sure that it's smooth. You can't always tell by using the scrub bar, so you do have to play it. And that was not good. If you notice that, watch again. So I'm gonna move it a little bit more. Now I know that will work, so I'm gonna move it a little further and let's see what happens if we did that. She turned. So you have to find the sweet spot of where it is going to work. And that didn't work either. The other thing that I do often is I make sure that I uh, publish it, I render it so that I can see what it looks like because sometimes it may look a little different. So there are a few different ways that you can change the rotation of the character depending on the action. Now, if I didn't want talking, let's change this one to waving. She'll be off a little bit, but we can still do that. She's gonna get there first. And she can wave. I forgot to disable the start there. I saw her stutter a little bit. And she did again. This one might need, oh, it does have the disable end, so maybe we don't need the disabled ending on that. So you're just gonna play around with those sometimes. Nope, that wasn't right. We do need that. So you're going to change it up to see what is needed. And this one, looks like I might need to move my keyframe. A little. That was smoother. So you just have to keep playing with it and see which, when it should be added and when it shouldn't. When I saw that, it looked like it was a little bit of a head turn with her ponytail. So those are the ways that you can do it. You're going to have to end and disable your start and end motion sometimes. Sometimes you're going to use reset and other times you can just use the rotate for the um for the animation good luck